Welcome to ACB's Math Made Easy. This is Neri, and we are going to discuss today about adding and subtracting of fractions. Our first example is 1 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 3 fifth. We can arrange these fractions vertically to see it clearly. 1 and 1 fourth exactly the same to 1 plus 1 fourth. And 2 and 3 fifth means 2 plus 3 fifth. We can add first the whole numbers. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Remember, do not forget that we already add the whole number. We will just add the fractions, one-fourth and three-fifth. Daddy, are we going to use this formula? Yes, we can add fractions by getting the LCD or LCM of the denominators, but this time, we will use the formula. These are our fractions, one-fourth and three-fifth. Their denominator are not equal. We can clearly see in our formula, the value of b is 4 and the value of d is 5. We can see also from the formula, the value of a is 1 and the value of d is 5. We can also get the value of b and c. b is 4 and the value of c is 3. Multiply the denominator. 4 times 5 equals 20. 1 times 5 equals 5. And 4 times 3 equals 12. Our denominator is 20. We can now add the numerators. 5 plus 12 equals 17. Remember that we already add the whole number and our answer is 3. Just combine it to the fractions. So, 1 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 3 fifth equals 3 and 17 over 20. Adding whole number to the fraction is just combining them. 3 plus 7 over 9 is just 3 and 7 over 9. Or we can use the formula and we will get the same answer. But not to 3 minus 7 over 9. We cannot just subtract them. We can subtract them by getting the LCD or LCM of the denominator. Or using the formula before, just change the plus to minus. But we will be using the formula. 3 can be written to 3 over 1. So it will become 3 over 1 minus 7 over 9. This is our formula. 3 over 1 minus 7 over 9. The denominator are not the same. Applying the formula, we can get all their values. The value of B is 1 and the value of d is 9. As we can see from the formula, the value of a is 3, and the value of d is 9. And from the formula, the value of b is 1, and the value of c is 7. 1 times 9 equals 9. 3 times 9 equals 27. 1 times 7 equals 7. We have our denominator 9. 27 minus 7 equals 20. 20 over 9 is our answer, but we need to simplify it. Since this is an improper fraction, numerator is greater than denominator, we can simply divide it. If you divide 
20 to 9, we will get an answer of 2 remainder 2. So our answer is 2 and 2 over 9. So 3 minus 7 over 9 equals 2 and 2 over 9. This is again our formula. Our next example is 4 over 5 minus 2 thirds. The denominator are not the same. We can see it clearly again from our formula. The value of b is 5 and the value of d is 3. The value of a is 4 and the value of d is 3. The value of b is 5 and the value of c is 2. 5 times 3 equals 15. 4 times 3 equals 12. 5 times 2 equals 10. Our denominator is 15. Our numerator is 12 minus 10 equals 2. So 4 over 5 minus 2 third equals 2 over 15. Our next example is 3 and 3 over 5 minus 2 and 1 half. We can arrange it vertically to see it more clearly. We can subtract directly the whole numbers. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Remember that we already have an answer for the whole number. We will only subtract the fractions. This is our formula. And these are the fractions. 3 fifth minus 1 half. The denominators are not the same. In our formula, the value of b is 5 and the value of d is 2. Also, in our formula, the value of a is 3 and the value of d is 2. And again, in our formula, the value of b is 5 and the value of c is 1. 5 times 2 equals 10. 3 times 2 equals 6. 5 times 1 equals 5. Our denominator is 10. 6 minus 5 equals 1. This is our numerator. Remember the whole number 1, our answer. Just combine it. So 3 and 2 fifth minus 2 and 1 half equals 1 and 1 over 10. That's our topic for today. If you think that this topic is helpful, please share it to others. Bye!